we are going to have uh, winners come, uh, we are going to award all the participants uh, with different uh, prizes. We have cash prizes, we have trophies, and we have medals because we want to ensure that everything happens uh, in line with the uh, Special Olympics uh, guidelines. So we are going to have uh, each team uh, receive an award. We'll be able to announce the awards uh, in the coming uh, days. Uh, the awards, we have partners who are coming in to provide more awards. So in the event that we uh, get more partners coming in, the award uh, levels uh, might change. But as at uh, now, I can convincingly say that all the teams will be awarded with cash prizes and uh, trophies and medals. Makweni uh, happened to be one of the counties that uh, embraced uh, supporting persons with, inter uh, with uh, intellectual disabilities uh, in sports uh, to build their talents. And courtesy of that, uh, Makweni has uh, been able to send uh, participants to the Special Olympics. And last year, for example, we sent a team uh, from Makweni that represented Kenya at the Berlin uh, Olympics. And courtesy of that participation and stellar performance at that level, we were able to uh, get identified and uh, Nike specifically offered to become our partner in developing this uh, uh, kind of sport. Uh, so then we build awareness to the rest of the country and also we build awareness of uh, the persons with dis, uh, intellectual disabilities within our communities because this has been a neglected uh, group of uh, uh, community members. So maybe being a new sport? Uh, specifically about the coaching and uh, uh, preparation of the teams, these teams, uh, the, the preparation of the teams are controlled uh, uh, by the Special Olympics uh, uh, Committee and we have guidelines that guide on how uh, the games are played and all that, and that will be effected. On uh, the level of training, we uh, these uh, members of the public are trained just like uh, any other members. Uh, they play uh, with uh, other members of uh, the public. So the training generally uh, happens uh, like any other uh, sport. But on the, on the management of the sport, one of the things that we were able to do in collaboration with Nike was to train coaches, and we trained 240 uh, coaches uh, from across Makweni uh, on the guidelines of managing uh, sporting activities for persons with intellectual uh, uh, disability. And in this case, we are talking about unified, uh, unified uh, sport, uh, which means Part of the team will be composed of persons with intellectual disability and uh, members who do not fall, follow under that particular category. So then we enhance inclusivity and performance uh, of the game. Uh, and guys, this guy... Uh, my name is uh, Engineer Peter Mumo, the Waziri uh, Sports at the County Government of Makweni. And uh, we are excited to announce to the public that we will be holding uh, the unified sports uh, under Special Olympics uh, this weekend here in Makweni. These games are going to involve persons with intellectual disabilities and we are calling them unified sports because we are going to have a mix of uh, uh, people without disabilities and the persons with intellectual uh, disabilities. In this uh, tournament, we are going to primarily focus on the girl child, uh, girls between the ages of uh, 12 and 17 and, uh, and 18, and girls above the ages of 18. And we are going to have teams coming all the way from each of the six sub-counties of Makweni. And just to give a, a, a brief on how we've been able to achieve this, we have been able to uh, organize sporting activities for this special group at the uh, sub-county level. So each sub-county sele identified, selected, and held a tournament where we were able to select teams that will be competing 
uh, tomorrow uh, on Saturday and on Sunday uh, here at uh, KMTC grounds in Makweni. So we are holding these uh, games in partnership with the count with the, uh, the this we are holding these games in partnerships with the uh, Nike, Special Olympics Kenya and Special Olympics International. And uh, in Africa, these games are happening in two countries, Namibia and Kenya. And in the Kenya's case, we are holding the first edition here in Makweni. And as a county uh, who is ad uh, which is advancing uh, the mandate of involving everyone, uh, we have been able to, we were selected courtesy of the investment that we have put into uh, supporting uh, sports of uh, intellectually, uh, of the people with, uh, persons with intellectual disabilities. So in this particular case, it is only Makweni County teams drawn from the six sub-counties. So we are going to have 12 teams, uh, six teams uh, which are uh, for under 18 and six teams uh, for the ages <coughs> over 18. Yeah. Yeah. So my name is Vincent Mungai, uh, working for Special Olympics Kenya as a sports manager. So where I can start is, uh, this one is a partnership between Nike, just like the Waziri has said, in, through Special Olympics International, in partnership with the government of uh, Makweni County. And the reason we came up with this one is worldwide, uh, females have been left behind mostly in engagement of sports and more so to Kisema, the ones with intellectual disabilities. So when Nike came through, one of the reasons is to bring inclusivity and reduce stigma within the communities. Because people with disabilities, they have talent. It's only that we gauge them using other means. But if we can gauge them with what they can do, we can realize their talent. Then the second one is now to promote and encourage females to participate in sports. That's why specifically we said females but not that we have left the boy child out. So it's the first time it's happening in conjunction with Nike. Though our Special Olympics, to make work, we have been doing unified sports through and through. But now in partnership with Nike, it's the first time it's happening in our country. And our hope and our scale up activity is to make sure that maybe we take it to the other counties. It has been a very good success here in Makweni. We started in October where we trained 250 coaches. Out of the 250 coaches, 68 of them were females. So you know, you can still see, even in case of uh, coaching, you still have a challenge with female coaches. So we wanted 50-50, but we are not able to raise that 50-50. Then from uh, October, November, those coaches, we gave them eight weeks. Because for a unified team, according to Special Olympics rules, they have to train together, not separately, together for eight continuous weeks. So they trained in December, they trained in January, and they trained part of February. Then the competition started at the world level. So at the world level, then they came to the sub-county level. And now we are waiting for 12 teams to attend the county finals that are happening from uh, Saturday, meaning they are arriving tomorrow in the afternoon. Then we have competitions on Saturday and Sunday. And these competitions, they are going to be held as per the guidelines of Special Olympics. So uh, we will invite you to come on Saturday. You come and see how we do our opening ceremony, how we have the torch. We even have a torch run just to sensitize the public that uh, we are holding our games. And also people with disabilities have the chance to be able to do so. Uh, as far as the competition is concerned, I think we have teams that are ready. One of the things at Special Olympics we do, there's something called divisioning that we do. I, I would like to talk about divisioning for just one minute. Divisioning in Special Olympics, as we are, we are cognizant that people with disabilities, they are also at different levels. So we don't allow people who are at different levels to compete. Otherwise, the one who is at the low level will never win. So for Special Olympics, once we do divisioning, this is to make sure that even the person who is at the lowest competes with another person at the same level. So the competition is fair for the ones who are at the low level and also the ones at the high level. So we are going to do that one. All the, all the 12 teams will do divisioning, then we come up with divisions depending on their ability level, such that when we be awarding them, we are going to award them as per their ability. And that one, we are very fair. And that one, when you are taking our team out of, the, out of the country for the Special Olympics World Games, our team is mixed grill. The ones who are high ability, moderate to the low ability. 
the ones who cannot be able to run. We have some activities like 50 meters walk or run. Let them go and walk and then they win the medals. And when they are walking, they are not walking and others are running. All of them, they are competing at the same ability. You have never seen a competition as tough as that one. It is just the same as the other one for the higher ability. That's why we are here in Makweni. And one thing I need to thank is the county government of Makweni. They have been our partners for more than 10 years. So in this one, so out of the funds that we had, the government uh, of Makweni gave us something called the matching fund. When we came, as we had to train only 50 coaches in two sub-counties, but now when they came through, they managed us to, uh, to be able to train 250 coaches in all the six sub-counties. So we thank them for that.